Good morning, Westerberg Rottweilers. This is Principal Gowan with your morning announcements for Friday, September 1st, 1989. Please remember that there are no cell phones allowed during the school day. They should be turned off and placed in your locker. You may use your cell phones for our Snapchat filter during your lunch break or at the end of the school day as you leave the premises. Snapchat wasn't around in the 80s, but from what I hear, it's cool. So please use it. Also, please refrain from any photography or video recording as it is against school policy. Be advised that today we may be experiencing fog, haze, smoke, strobe effects, gunshots, and mature language and themes. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please take a moment to locate the exit nearest you. And now, enjoy this beautiful sunny day in Sherwood, Ohio, and watch out for the heathers. September 1st, 1989. Dear Diary, I think I'm a good person. You know, I believe that there's good in everyone, but here we are. First day of senior year. And uh, I look around these kids I've known all my life, and I wonder what happened. We were so tiny, happy and shiny, playing tag and getting chased. Singing and clapping, laughing and napping, baking cookies, eating paste. Pull that stuck up hunchback. Then we got bigger, that was the trigger, like the Huns invading Rome. Oh, sorry. Welcome to my school, this ain't no high school, this is the Thunderdome. Hold your breath and count the days, we're graduating soon. What trash? College will be paradise if I'm not. I pray, I pray for a better way. If we changed back then, we could change again. We can be beautiful. Ow! Just not today. Hey, are you okay? Get away, nerd. Okay. Freak, slut, cripple, homo, homo, homo. Things will get better as soon as my letter comes from Harvard, Duke. Brown. Wake from this coma, take my diploma, then I can blow this town. Dream of ivy-covered walls and smoky French cafes. Watch this. Fight the urge to strike a match and set this up a place. Oops. Graham Sweeney, third year as linebacker and eighth year of smacking lunch trays and being a huge dick. What did you say to me, skank? My best friend since diapers. She's got a huge heart. Round here, that is not enough. Hey, thanks. We on for movie night? Yeah, you're on Jiffy Pop Detail. I rented The Princess Bride. <laughs> Again? Don't you have it memorized by now? What can I say? I'm a sucker for a happy ending. Mark the dump truck! Wide load! Hawk! Kirk Kelly. Quarterback. He is the smartest guy on the football team! <laughs> Which is kind of like being the tallest dwarf. <laughs> hey, pick that up right now! I'm sorry, are you actually talking to me? My buddy Kurt here just asked you a question. What gives you the right to pick on my friend? <laughs> Look at you, you're a high school has-been waiting to happen. A future gas station attendant. You have a zit right there. <laughs> Got it! Dear Diary. Why do they hate me? Why don't I fight back? Why I know I act like play? such a creep. Why? Why won't he date me? Why did I wear this? Why do I cry myself to sleep? Somebody hug me. Somebody fix me. Somebody save me. Send me a side gun. Give me some hope here. Something to live for.
there's the heathers, they float above it all. I love Heather, Heather, and Heather. I hate Heather McNamara, Heather, head cheerleader. Her dad Heather, is loaded. He sells engagement Heather, rings. I Heather Duke runs the yearbook. Heather, no discernible personality, Heather, but her mom did pay for implants. And Heather, I hate and Heather Chandler, Heather, the almighty. Heather. She is a mythic bitch. <laughs> They're solid Teflon. Never bothered, never harassed. I would give anything to be like that. I'd like to be their boyfriend. That would be beautiful. If I sat at their table, guys would notice me. So beautiful. I'd like them to be nicer. That would be beautiful. I'd like to kidnap a Heather and photograph her naked in an abandoned warehouse and leave her tied up for the rats. <laughs> Grow up, Heather. Believe me, it's so 87. Heather, I need a mint. What you need, Heather, is to see a doctor. I hate my doctor. He smells like Jacar Noir. Oh. Heather and Heather. Blech. And Heather. Perhaps you didn't hear the bell over all the vomiting? You're late for class. Heather wasn't feeling well. We're helping her. Not without a hall pass, you're not. Week's detention. Um, actually, Miss Fleming, all four of us are out on a hall pass. Your book committee. I see you're all listed. Hurry up and get where you're going. This is an excellent forgery. Who are you? Um, Veronica Sawyer. I crave a boon. What boon? Um, let, let me sit at your table at lunch just once. No talking necessary. If people think you guys tolerate me, then they'll leave me alone. <laughs> Before you answer, I also do report cards, permission slips, and absence notes. How about prescriptions? Shut up, Heather. I'm sorry, Heather. <laughs> You know, for a greasy little nobody, you do have good bone structure. And a symmetrical face. If I took a meat cleaver down the center of your skull, I'd have matching halves. <laughs> That's very important. You could stand to lose a few pounds. And you know, you know, you know, this could be beautiful. Mascara, maybe some lip gloss, and we're on our way. Get this girl some blush, and Heather, I need your brush. Let's make her beautiful.
Dear Diary, it's been three weeks since I became friends with the Heathers. Well, friends isn't the right word exactly. It's more like the Heathers are people I work with and our job is being popular and shit. <laughs> hey, Veronica. Hey. You look really beautiful these days. Yeah, well, it's still the same me underneath. Are you sure? Look, uh, I'm sorry I flaked on movie night last week. I've had a lot going on. I get that. You're with the Heathers now. It's exciting. It's whatever. <laughs> uh, but we'll hang soon, I promise. Veronica, Heather says to haul ass to the calf pronto. How very. Veronica, I need a forgery in Ram Sweeney's handwriting. You'll need something to write on. Heather, bend over. Hi, honey. I've been watching you and thinking about us in the old days. I hope you can come to my homecoming party this weekend. I miss you, Ram. And put an XO after the signature. What's this for anyway? You know how Ram used to hang with Martha Dump Truck? Well, yeah, in kindergarten, we all did. We all did a kiss on the kickball field. Oh my god, that's right. I totally forgot. Ram kissed Martha Dump Truck. It was disgusting. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Ram, come here. Yo, what do you think Heather wants? I bet she wants you to, like, set her on your Johnson and spin her around like a goddamn pinwheel. <laughs> oh, yeah, punch it in! <laughs> 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 give this note to Martha Dump Truck for me. What? No. Uh, since when do you hang out with that lard ass? Yeah. Don't read it. She's having an extra heavy flow and needed some advice from my gyno. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah. Martha's had a thing for Ram for like 12 years now. This could kill her. Come on, Heather, you're bigger than this. Are we gonna have a problem? You got a bone to pick? You've come so far, why now are you pulling on my dick? I'd normally slap your face off, and everyone here could watch. But I'm feeling nice, here's some advice. Listen up, biatch! Yeah. I'm looking hot, buying stuff they cannot. I'm like drinking hard, Max and Dad's credit card. I'm and him, scaring her, screwing him. I like killer clothes, kicking guys in the nose. If you lack the balls, you can go play dolls. Let your mommy fix you a snack. Oh. Or you could come smoke, pound some rum and coke in my Porsche with the quarterback. Whoa, 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 whoa. Honey, what you waiting for? Welcome to my candy store. Time for you to prove.
You shouldn't have bowed down to the Swatch Dogs and Diet Coke ads. They're gonna crush that girl. I'm sorry, what? Look, you've clearly got a soul. You just need to work a little harder keeping it clean. We're all born marked for evil. Oh, okay, don't just quote Baudelaire at me and walk away. Excuse me. I didn't catch your name. I didn't throw it. Who's <laughs> that guy in the jacket think he is anyway? Bo Diddley? <laughs> Veronica's into his act, no doubt. Let's kick his ass. No, we're seniors, man. We're too old for that shit. Hey, sweetheart. What'd your boyfriend say when you told him you were moving to Sherwood, Ohio? <laughs> my, my buddy Kurt here just asked you a question. Hey, Ram, doesn't this cafeteria have a no bags allowed rule? It sure does. They seem to have an open door policy for assholes, though. <laughs> Hold his arms. at that new kid. <laughs> and from the look of your house, you can't afford replacement panties. <laughs> oh, come on, I don't even know his name. Mom, Dad, look out! It's 
liverwurst. I know that, Heather. It's a family joke. <laughs> Funny. Damn it. Would somebody tell me why I read these spy novels? Because you're an idiot, Dad. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Party at Ram Sweeney's house. I'm catching a ride with Heather. Speaking of which. Great. Great pate, Mom, but we better motor if we want to be ready for that party. Don't let the popular girls change you. I need them. For what? You have friends. You have Martha. Oh, she's lovely. Maybe I want more out of life than liverwurst. Ahem. Those girls seem really nice. Salutations. You want to slurp me with that? No, but if you're nice, I'll let you buy me a big gulp. <laughs> That's like going to Mickey D's to order a salad. <laughs> Slurpee is the signature dish of the house. Did you say cherry or lime? I said big gulp. I'm Veronica Sawyer, by the way. You ever gonna tell me your name? I'll end the suspense. Jason Dean. JD for short. So JD. That thing you pulled in the calf was pretty severe. <laughs> the extreme always seems to make an impression. So what brings a bottle air quoting badass like you to Sherwood, Ohio? My dad's work. He owns a deconstruction company. A deconstruction? Yeah, the old man seems to enjoy tearing things down. You ever seen the commercial? Uh, well, I'm Big Bud Dean. If it's in the way, I'll make your day. Great, then he pulls the plunger and the screen blows up. <laughs> That's your dad? in all his toxic glory. Everyone's life has got static. Veronica! <laughs> Example, I don't really like my friends. I don't like your friends either. Bag the party, hang here. At the 7-Eleven, swanky first date. <laughs> hey, I love this place. No offense, but why? And high schools, they start to get blurry. No point planning routes, cause you're gone in a hurry. My dad keeps two suitcases packed in the den, so it's only a matter of when. I don't learn the names, don't bother with faces. All I can trust is this concrete oasis. Seems every time I'm about to despair, there's a 7 Eleven right there. Each store is the same, from Las Vegas to Boston. Linoleum aisles that I love to get lost in. I pray at my altar of slush. Yes, I live for that sweet frozen rush. <laughs> Freeze your brain. Suck on that straw, get lost in the pain. Happiness comes when everything numbs. Who needs cocaine? Freeze your brain. Freeze your brain. Care for a hit? Does your mommy know you eat all this crap? Not anymore. When mom was alive, we lived halfway normal. Now it's just me and my dad. We're less formal. 
I learned to cook pasta, I learned to pay rent Learned the world doesn't owe you a cent You're planning your future, Veronica Sawyer You'll go to some college and marry a lawyer But the sky's gonna hurt when it falls And so you better start building some walls Freeze your brain Swim in the ice, get lost in the pain Shut your eyes tight till you vanish from sight But nothing remains Freeze your brain Shatter your skull, fight pain with more pain Forget who you are Yet in six weeks, you'll be back on the road When the voice in your head says you're better off dead Don't up in a vein Just freeze your brain Freeze your brain Go on and freeze your brain I don't see what the big t- oh. oh, son of a bitch! Veronica! Corn nuts? Yes, Heather. Wave bye-bye to Red Dawn here, and let's motor. Okay, Ram, have fun tonight, but I expect you to act your age. The Henshaws have the number to the cabin. If they call to complain, I'm gonna come back here and knock the sand out of your vagina. <laughs> dude, what am I, five? I'm your dad, not your dude. That goes double for you, Kurt. You're a guest in Bill's house, and you'll treat it with respect. Sure thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, right? Yeah, you got, got it. Grab his got arms. It. What are you doing? Okay, okay, it's funny. Who's I get a big it. sissy? I'm huh? not a sissy. Who's a big no, sissy? I get it. It's funny. Who's gonna wear yeah, a pretty green dress in the uh, Fine, I'm a sissy. I'm a big fat sissy. Damn right you are. <laughs> Have fun at your party, son. Punch it in. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that sucks. Dude, who cares? The parents are gone. I got my party slippers on. Boy, are you kidding? Yeah, it? give me some. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Upstairs and rest your head. Let's rub each other's backs while watching porn on Cinemax. Ah, the folks are gone. It's time for big fun. Big We're fun. up till dawn, having some big fun. Big fun. When mom and dad forget to lock the liquor cabinet, it's big fun. Big fun. Big fun. Big fun. Woo! Hey. So it's salt, then shot, then light. Very important to get the order right. You're a natural, just like my mom. Oh. <laughs> you were looking good tonight. Whoa, a hot guy smiled at me without a trace of mockery. Everyone's high as a kite, ain't nobody home tonight. Stoned, zoned, I should quit. Hey, where's that weed I want to hit? Feel that joy and roll it tight, ain't nobody home tonight. Dreams are coming true when people laugh, but not at you. I'm not alone, I'm not afraid. I feel like Bono at Live Aid. Ah, the is ours. It's time for big fun. Big fun. Let's do a stair shower. That's not like big, big fun. Big fun. I hope in one more case. I think that's what they call third base. Big, big fun. Big fun. Big fun. It actually looks like big it. fun. Big fun. Big fun. Big fun. Woo! Why listen up? What is Westerberg going to do to the Razor? 
extra backs in Sunday's game. We're gonna make them go away, 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 away. I just saw some freshmen climbing over the pool fence. I hate freshmen. Where are you, little freaks? I'm coming for you! <laughs> I didn't need your help. Aw, thanks for the finger, Heather, but I don't have to bomb it right now. The party's hot, hot, hot! It's time for Big Fun! Big Fun! You need a demo shot? We're having Big Fun! Big Fun! Martha Dump Truck in the flesh! Here comes the Cootie Squad! We should Shut up, Heather! I can't believe you actually came. <laughs> it's exciting, right? Oh, I want to say hello to Ram. I brought sparkling cider. <laughs> Showing up here took some guts. Time to rip them out. Well, who's this pig remind you of, especially the snouts? Huh? Dang, dang, diggity, dang, 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 diggity, dang, dang. Where the hell are those freshmen? Hi, Ram. Uh, I wasn't going to come, but since you took the time to write that sweet note. What note? Why you gotta be so weird all the time? You know, people wouldn't hate you so much if you acted normal. There's no alcohol in here! You trying to poison me. Dang, dang, diggity, dang, 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 diggity, dang, 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 dang. you now. You can transfer to Washington and you can transfer to Jefferson, but no one at Westerberg is going to let you play the reindeer games. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I've raised you up from nothing and this is my thanks? I can paint and puke? Lick it up, baby. Lick it up. Oh, I know who I'm eating at lunch with on Monday. Do you? Okay, party people. Where's the goddamn keg? The demon queen of high school has decreed it. She says Monday, 8 a.m., I will be deleted. They'll hunt me down in study hall, stuff and mount me on the wall. 30 hours to live, how should I spend them? I don't have to stay and die like cattle. I 
could change my name and ride up to Seattle. But I don't own a motorbike. Wait, here's an option that I like. Spend these 30 hours getting free cake. Yeah, I need it hard. I'm a dead girl walking. I'm in your yard. I'm a dead girl walking. Before they punch my clock, I'm snapping off your window lock. Got no time. my room. Had to see you, hope I didn't wake you. See, I decided I must ride you till I break you. Cause Heather says I got to go. You're my last meal on death row. Shut your mouth and lose for me. is nothing but a dirty whore. Why are you so determined to hurt me? Because I can. It'll be so very. Very, 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 very. Ah! Veronica! <laughs> You're soaking wet. Uh, it, it was just a dream. What's the rush? I, uh, I gotta get to Heather's. <laughs> Why? You said you were done with Heather. Yeah, and it was a sweet fantasy. A world without Heather, a world where everyone is free. But now it's morning and I have to go kiss her aerobicized ass. <sighs> well, let me come with. Really? You know, for backup. Okay. Thanks. Uh... <laughs> By the way, you were my first. <laughs> Maybe. 
Maybe she's not home. Trust me, she skips the Saturday morning trip to Grandma's even when she's not hungover. Heather! What? It's Veronica. I'm here to apologize. Well, I hope you brought knee pads, bitch. Fix me a prairie oyster and I'll think about it. Oh, uh, prairie oyster, what's in that? Raw egg, vinegar. Worcester, hot sauce, salt, and pepper. You know your hangover cures. My dad told me all kinds of stuff. Oh, hey. Here's my revenge. I'll drop a phlegm globber in her prairie oyster. She'll never know. <sighs> you know, I'm more of a no rust buildup man myself. Don't be a dick. That stuff will kill her. Thus, ending her hangover, I say we go with Drano. What are you doing? You can't just. Besides, Heather would never drink anything that looks like that. So we use a mug. She won't know what she's drinking. Forget it. Chicken! You're not funny. Okay, I'm sorry. Prairie Oyster! Chop! Chop! Veronica, you... I what? Good luck. Morning, Heather. Ah, uh, Veronica. And Jesse James. Kelsa Priest. Well, let's get to it. Beg. Look, we both said things we didn't mean last night, and- I'd actually prefer if you did this on your knees. In front of your boy toy here. Yeah, anyhow, look, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Do I look like I'm kidding? Down. Nice. But you're still dead to me. on purpose. They're going to have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin. Unless, look, she was reading the bell jar. Oh no. Oh yes. You can fake her handwriting. Um, make her sound deep, like this. Um, I had pain in my path. Like Sylvia Plath, my problems were myriad. I was having my period. <laughs> This is serious. You could go to jail. Get your head on straight now. Uh, Heather, Heather would never use the word myriad, okay? She missed it on her vocabulary quiz. So it's a badge for her failures at school. Work with me. Okay. Uh... Conjure up in your mind. Think long and hard. What would she say? What are her final statements to a cold, uncaring planet? Dear world, believe it or not, I knew about fear. I knew the way loneliness stung. I hid behind smiles and crazy hot clothes. I learned to kiss boys with my tongue. That's good. But oh, the world, it held me down. Uh, it weighed like a concrete prom queen crown. No one thinks a pretty girl has feelings. No one gets her insecurity. I am more than shoulder pads and makeup. No one sees the me inside of me. Jesus, you're making me sound like air supply. Keep going. This has to be good enough to fool the cops. Is it murder? No, look. Here's a suicide note. 
They couldn't see past my rock star mystique. They wouldn't dare look in my eyes. But just underneath was a terrified girl who clings to her pillow and cries. My looks were just like prison bars. They left me a myriad of stars. Myriad? Nice. No one thinks a pretty girl has substance. That's the curse of popularity. I am more than just a source of hand jobs. No one sees the me inside of me. I'm telling you, Principal Gowan, Heather Chandler is not your everyday suicide. You should cancel classes. No way, coach. I send the kids home before lunch and the switchboard will light up like a Christmas tree. Our children are dying. What this school needs is a good old-fashioned rap session. I suggest we get everyone into the cafeteria and just talk and feel together. Thank you, Miss Fleming. Call me when the shuttle lands. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, laugh at the hippie. But I'm telling you, we all misjudged Heather Chandler, myself included. Have you read this suicide note? Really, read it. Does she make copies? Box up my clothing for goodwill and give the poor minority track. Donate my car to crippled kids or to those ghetto moms on crack. Give them my hats and my CDs, my pumps, my glass, my three TVs. No one thinks a pretty girl has feelings, but I weep for all I fail to be. Not so fast, kids! They're refueling the buses, which gives us a solid half hour of healing. I made copies of the suicide note so you can all really feel Heather's anguish. Her world seemed like a perfect place. Oh, her life had hit a rocky patch. Feel! That's why she punched me in the face. She didn't mean to be a snatch. like this. It's just that this classroom discussion has stirred up emotions that I haven't felt since Hands Across America! Huh? Look what we're done, we're breaking through. Heather would be so proud of you. No one thinks a pretty girl can touch you. Heather touching me. But she's made us better than we were. Conversations. Je me souviens de aller à la fois de être dernier avec Heather Chandler. Nous nous sommes venus dans l'estomac à manger corn nuts. Good Turn morning, Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh my 
Young man, I didn't hear you come in. Hey, Dad. How was work today? It was miserable. Some damn tribe of withered old bitches is trying to stop me from blowing up this flea bag hotel. All because Glenn Miller and his band once took a dump there. <laughs> Just like Kansas. Do you remember Kansas? The one with the wheat, right? Save the Memorial Oak Society. Showed those tree humpers. 30 bricks of C4 explosives strapped to the trunk. Arraigned, but acquitted. Goddamn Kansas. <laughs> Gee, Pop, I almost forgot to introduce my girlfriend. Veronica, this is my dad, Big Bud Dean. Hello. Why, son, why don't you ask your little friend to stay for dinner? Uh, my mom's making my favorite meal tonight. Spaghetti! Lots of oregano. Oh, nice! The last time I saw my mom, she was uh, waving at me out of a window in a library in Texas. Right, Dad? Right, son. Okay. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Dear Diary, J.D.'s dad will not be speaking at our wedding. Hello? Veronica? I need help. I'm at the cemetery. What's wrong? Just hurry up, please. It's an emergency. on Heather's grave. You know, from her homies. But, <laughs> but Kurt and Ram drank it all. Ram and Heather went off together. Then Kurt started grabbing me and he wouldn't stop. After everything that happened at Ram's party, why did you call me? Well, that was the deal. If I got you here, Kurt promised to leave me alone. <laughs> so you avoided date rape by volunteering me for date rape. God, you make it sound ugly. I'm leaving now. Hey, Ronica. I waited ten whole beers for you. God damn it, Ram. I said I'm done. So we're up, you idiot. Don't leave. Heather, unlock the door. No, you can't stop now. My balls are like this big hydroelectric dam, and, uh, and, and there's just a river of pressure that keeps building up, uh, and, and it really hurts. I mean, I mean that's science, you know? I, I need relief. Well, hey, Ranika. So hot. gonna hurt your feelings. Who's feelings? What are you talking about? You make my balls so blue. You hurt them badly. You make my balls so blue. They're hanging sadly. What did they do to you? That you hate them so. Don't run from me. They're all beat up like a tackling dummy. They long for your embrace. Uh. They're warm like mittens. They'll curl up on your face Can't hurt like kittens You make my balls so blue Just look at them glow We're begging you Don't make my balls so blue Whatever you require, they'll do. Don't take them home to meet oh your parents. God. They'll wear a suit and tie. And a fancy collar. They'll sing a lullaby. La, 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 la. Please make these balls not blue. Just for a while. Can't wait till later. My pants are up like a hot chicken. 
Westerberg who could actually control Kurt and Ram. And she is dead. Well, look who's having second thoughts. Technically, I did not kill Heather. I know that. But I still feel bad. But not as bad as I should. <laughs> and that makes me feel worse. such a sad little poser. Veronica, tell her to stop touching my stuff. Veronica? Veronica! Shut up, Heather! You shut up! I don't have to shut up anymore! Hey, that's Heather Scrunchie. Shut up, Heather. Heather Chandler's gone, and it's up to me to replace her. Replace Heather? Please. You should be worrying less about me and more about your reputation. Kurt and Ram have been telling the whole school about your little three-way last night. Three-way? There was no three-way. Nothing happened. I remember differently. I seem to remember there was a... Big sword fight in her mouth. And she allowed it. Big sword fight in her mouth. It sure sounds crowded. And then we both went south. And that's now our food. Big salami, baba bang her for the light origami. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody was sword fighting in her mouth. Yes, we're convincing. Went down right in her mouth. I hope she rinsed it. She blew and blew and blew. Like they were blue. She loved the stuff like the Hardys do. She bit up more than.
You are the only thing that's right about this broken world. Go on and cry. Cause when the morning comes, we'll burn it down and then we'll build the world again. Our love is God. Hey, are you okay? I was alone. I was a frozen lake. And then you melted me awake. See, now I'm crying too. You're not alone. You're not alone. And when the morning comes, the morning we'll comes. burn away that tear and raise our city here. Our love is God. Hello. Hi, Kurt. It's Veronica. Oh, hey, Veronica. Get the oh, fuck shit. in here. How did you know it's always been a fantasy of mine to have two guys at once? Ah, uh, lucky guess. Well, if you want it to come true, then meet me at the cemetery at dawn. Free pussy. And we don't even have to buy it a pizza. Oh, did it? Hell yeah! Let's go. <laughs> we can start and finish wars. We're what killed the dinosaurs. We're the asteroid that's overdue. The dinosaurs choked on the dust. They died because God said they must. The new world needed room for me. I worship you, I trade my life for yours, and once they disappear, we'll plant our garden here, our love is God, our love is God, our love is God, our love is God. Yeah, but we're filling it with Eklug bullets. Eklug what? My granddad's Gordon in World War II. They contain this powerful tranquilizer. The Nazis used them to fake their own suicides when the Russians invaded Berlin. We will use them to knock curtain ram out just long enough to make it look like a suicide pact, complete with a forged suicide note. died because we had to hide our gay forbidden love <laughs> from a misapproving world. On the count of three. One, 
He's awesome, if a bit too rock and roll. Lately he's bumped off three of my classmates. God have mercy on my soul. They were just 17. They still had room to grow. They could have turned out good, but now we There's been a distinct lack of girls climbing through my bedroom window lately. Take the hint. Okay, I get it, you're mad. No, I don't think you do. Eek lug bullets, you lied to me. You are lying to yourself. You wanted them dead too. I did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did they make you cry? Yes. Can they make you cry now? No, but you can. Just wait till you see the good that comes of this. What good can possibly come of this? Call me an optimist. Dear Diary, my teenaged angst bullshit has a body count. sure what I'm supposed to say up here. I'm ashamed, of course. My family's turned this town into a laughing stock. My boy Kurt, not the man I thought he was. When I think of the sick, disgusting things that Kurt and Ram you were doing... You wait just a minute, Paul. It is 
ignorant, hateful talk like yours that makes this world a place our boys could not live in. They were not dirty. They were not wrong. They were too lonely verses in the Lord's great song. Our boys were pansies, Bill. Yeah. My boys are homosexual, and that don't scare me enough. I want the world to know. I love my dead gay son. I've been thinking, praying, reading the magazines, and it's time we opened our eyes. Well, good Lord, made the universe the Lord made a man, and I believe it's all part of his gigantic plan. I know God had a reason for each mountain and each flower, and why he chose that our boys should be in love. Can you say it's a good day to live in Sherwood, Ohio? You're welcome, town. You don't have to be so smug about it. Your love keeps me humble. So who's next, Heather Duke? You know, she started that three-way rumor. I've taken the liberty of underlining meaningful passages in her copy of Moby Dick, if you know what I mean. No! No, I do not accept this! Three people are dead! That's enough! This ends now. Or what? Or I'm breaking up with you. Look, any war has casualties doesn't mean it's not worth fighting. Oh, but what? You'd rather go to jail and give a free pass to the thugs who hurt people, evil pricks who make this world so unbearable you can't stand to go on living? J. 
JD, how did your mother die? You really want to know? Yeah, I do. My dad said it was an accident, but she knew what she was doing. She walked into that building two minutes before dad blew it up. She waved at me out the window and then kaboom! She left me. I'm really sorry. Don't be. The pain gives me clarity. We have a lot of work to do. What work? Making this world a decent place for people who are decent. And when does it end? When every asshole is dead! Ah! Fine. We're damaged. Really damaged. But that does not make us wise. We're not special. We're not different. We don't choose who lives or dies. Let's be normal. See bad movies. Sneak a beer and watch TV. We'll bake brownies or go bowling. Don't you want a life with me? Can't we be seventeen? That's all I want to do. If you could let me in, I could be. hurt us or they vanish and you're right it really blows but we let go take a deep breath then go buy some summer clothes we'll go camping play some poker and we'll eat some chili fries maybe prom night maybe dancing don't stop looking in my eyes, eyes. can't we be sad happily ever after. Do you really believe that? You think it all just goes back to normal? Oh, don't give me that wounded look. You know exactly what he is, and you love it. Just stop talking. Only a true dead best friend would give it to you straight. Veronica, I need your help. Sure, what? Something doesn't add up. I think Ram and Kurt were murdered. Well, fuck me gently with the chainsaw. <laughs> Nancy Drew is on to you, Veronica. Why would you think that? They found a suicide note. It could have been faked. I mean, you forge stuff all the time, right? I am in love with this fat girl. Who'd want to kill Ram and Kurt? Well, I was thinking your friend JD. You remember 
remember the way he went after them in the lunchroom. Yeah, man, that sucked. There's something off about that JD. Veronica's going to lady prison. Girl on girl. Punch it <laughs> in. Uh, <laughs> I want to look in JD's locker. I was hoping you could give me the combination. Well, I bet they find all kinds of interesting things in that locker. Maybe some e clue bullets? Martha, this is a pretty wild theory. I don't care what they were saying at the funeral. Ram was not gay. I'd stake my life on it. Ha! Ram's a fatty magnet! Yo, he's out of skin marks! Bullshit! Skin marks! Fatty magnet! Hey, stop hey, it! Hey, stop it! it. Stop what? Veronica, what's wrong with you? I I'm just trying to understand. Ram was gay. Why would you think anything else? He kissed me, remember? On the kickball field. Yeah, in kindergarten. My heart knows the truth. It's time to choose, Veronica. It's eat or be eaten. Why would he invite me to his homecoming party if he didn't still feel something? You know what to say. Why would he write me that note? I'm gonna confront JD. No! Do you have the gut? that love note? I did. <laughs> no. Yeah. The whole school was in on the joke. The Heathers put me up to it. Nobody laughed harder than Ram. He didn't love you. He was a dick. He's dead. Move on. Shit. Shit! I had to hurt her. If JD ever caught her snooping around his stuff, he'd kill her. Well, is that what you're afraid of? But I thought the Desperado hung up his six guns. Don't you trust him? Veronica! There you are. I need you girls in place for the assembly. All right, this thing. Christ. Pedal to the metal pit! Come on! Show a little hustle! Come on. Kind of looking for Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast? Sorry, Heather. Hello, Westerberg! Oh, I think we can do a little better than that. I said, hello, Westerberg! <laughs> cameras and the TV news crews. We are here to document this specific moment. Whether to kill yourself or not is one of the most important decisions a teenager can make. I know. I know. Do you know what I'm going to do right now? Kill yourself on stage? <laughs> <laughs> That's not productive, what? was on the subject of pediatric psychotherapeutic musicology. It was very well regarded. So, I speak with some authority when I tell you that the way to eliminate suicide is by first eliminating fear. By creating a safe zone in which we all are equal. Because you're all beautiful.
some earmuffs. You know, I probably shouldn't say this right now, but I faked it. Every single time. You know, kids, for really letting each other go, this feels fan freaking tastic.
don't patronize bunny rabbits. <laughs> this is their big secret. The adults are powerless. Heather Mack trusted you. You said you'd protect her! They can't help us. Nobody can. You're useless. alone in the ocean. You're all idiots! Veronica, you should sit. Now. No, let go! Heather Chandler was a monster just like Kurt and Ram. They didn't kill themselves. I killed them! Uh, what do you all think about that? if they think it'll make them popular. <laughs> Veronica! <laughs> host. Thanks for coming after me. You're welcome. You're a genius. You know, you had me worried with your little confession, but you pulled it off. Best place to hide, right in plain sight. I wasn't trying to hide. But why'd you have to go and mess with McNamara? One more dead Heather's a good thing. She's my friend. <laughs> okay. If she's such a good friend, why let Duke live? The bitch who made McNamara want to die, nothing ever changes. Hey, we are unless... out of the change business. Doesn't it bother you that you cross the street in the same old evil in the same old Don't race. talk over me! You promised. Gee, Pop, ever heard of knocking? I was busy playing grab ass with my girlfriend. Young man, you know the rules. When company's over, the bedroom door stays open. So the judge, God bless him, told those Glenn Miller groupies to slurp shit and die. You should have seen the fireworks. Got it all here on video. Loaded the upper floors with thermals, set the whole thing off with a Norwegian in the boiler room. Kaboom. Right back. I'm gonna need my drawstring pants for this one. <laughs> God damn it! No firearms in the house! Why are you carrying a gun? It pissed my dad off. It's funny. It's not funny. None of this is funny! Why are you carrying a gun? You promised me! Hey, it's a dangerous world. 
Because of you? Don't call me. Don't talk to me. Veronica! You don't know right from wrong. We're over. Come on, come back. Over. B but I love you! Goodbye, JD. Fuck! I now know thee, thou clear spirit. That's from Moby Dick. I appreciate a well-read woman. What's in the envelope? You're gonna wanna see it. Oh, shit. Just a tangible reminder that at one point, around age six, I'm guessing, you and Martha Dunstock were friends. Where did you get these? Did Veronica give them to you? What do you want? Money? A favor. <laughs> no way. You know, I really love the one of you, Martha, and Ram in the bathtub together. These photos are ancient history. Nobody cares about the past. Nobody cares about Martha dump truck. Certain boys are just for kindergarten. 
Certain girls are meant to be alone. But I believe that any dream worth having is a dream that should not have to end. So I'll build a dream that I can live in. And this time I never waking up. to have MTV throw a spring break blowout in Westerberg in order to raise suicide awareness. I got everybody to sign. I'm going to make an inspirational speech about it at the pep rally tonight. Ugh, count me out. Veronica, why are you pulling my dick? It was your boyfriend's idea. JD? He made up the signature sheet and everything. Look, I don't know what JD's up to, but if you know what's good for you, you'll throw that clipboard away. <laughs> Not a chance. I'll just fake your signature like I did with the Martha Dump Truck. She's in no shape to sign anything after last night. What happened last night? It was on the radio. She took a belly flop off the old mill bridge holding a suicide note. <laughs> oh my god, she's not. Just some broken bones. Just another geek trying to imitate the pop of the people and failing miserably. Go, go, keep it together. I do, you would my bar. Now you're truly a Heather. Smell how gangster you are. I'm so sorry. Young girl, the love is punchy. She's not looking so well. Still, you earned that red scrunchie. Come join Heather in hell. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Your friend JD stopped by. He told us everything. Everything? Your depression? Your thoughts of suicide? He even showed us your copy of Moby Dick. He's got your handwriting down cold. Please, honey, talk to us. <laughs> no, you'd never understand. Try me. I've experienced everything you're going through, and I know it all seems impossibly dramatic. Guess who's right on the block? The problems seem like life and death. Guess who's You don't know what my world is like. Go say your prayers. Veronica, 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 and my parents will call the police. All is forgiven, baby. Come out and get dressed. You're my date to the pep rally tonight. What? Why? Our classmates thought they were signing a petition, but you should come see what they really signed. You 
chucked me out like I was trash for that you should be dead but 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 then it hit me like a flash what if high school went away instead those assholes are the key they're keeping you away from me they made you blind messed up your mind but I can set you free you left me and I fell apart I punched the wall and cried bam 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 then I found you changed my heart and set loose all that truth Bullshit inside and so I built a bomb Tonight our school is Vietnam The guarantee they never see their senior prom I was meant to be yours We were meant to be one I can't make it alone So when the high school gym goes boom with everyone inside In the rubble of their tomb We'll plant this note explaining why they died We, the students of Westerberg High, will die Our burned bodies may finally get through To you, your society turns out slaves and blanks No thanks, signed the students of Westerberg High Goodbye We'll watch the smoke pour out the doors Bring marshmallows, we'll make s'mores We can smile and cuddle while the fire roars I was meant to be yours We were meant to be one I can't make it alone Finish what we've begun You were meant to be mine Open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door. Veronica, can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, sure you're scared. I've been there. I can set you free. Veronica, don't make me come in there. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, fuck it! Veronica. No. Oh my god! Please don't leave me alone. You were all I could trust. I can't do this alone. Person. What? Where are you going? Out. When will you be back? That's a good question. I wanted someone strong who could protect me. I let his anger fester and infect me. His solution is a lie. No one here deserves to die except for me and the monster I created. <laughs> Norwegian in the boiler room, just like your dad. And here I
Junior, I thought you'd lost your taste for faking suicides. Step away from the bomb. <laughs> this little thing? Oh, I'd hardly call this a bomb. No, this is to set off the packs of thermals upstairs in the gym. Now those are bombs. <laughs> but people are gonna look at the ashes of Westerberg and say there's a school that self-destructed not because society didn't care, but because that school was society. You know, the only place Heathers and Marthas can truly get along is heaven. I wish your mom had been a little stronger. I wish she'd stayed around a little longer. More TNT! Uh, uh, give me the uh, Good for you? Kinda sucks for me. Dear diary, the irony here is I didn't get a chance to write a suicide note. Smart thinking. Drag the trigger bomb out to the football field, that way nobody dies, except you if you keep holding on to that thing. I killed people. I have to pay for that. Not you. Me. I destroy things just like my dad. It never occurred to me to try building anything. But you're different. Go do something with your life. Damaged, far too damaged, but you're not beyond repair. Stick around here, make things better, cause you beat me fair and square. Please stand back now. Little further. Don't know what this thing will do. Hope you miss me, wish you'd kiss me, then you'd know I worship you. I trade my life for yours, oh and once I disappear, Hold on. clean up the mess down here. Our love is God. Our love is God. Our love is God. Our love is God. kind of blew me off. So, I was wondering if you weren't doing anything tonight, maybe we could pop some Jiffy Pop? Rent a video? Something with a happy ending? Are there any happy endings? I can't promise no more Heathers. High school may not ever end. Still, I miss you. I'd be honored if you We can be seventeen. We can learn how to chill. If no one loves me now, someday somebody will. We can be seventeen. 